making a cute little spider cake. Even though Halloween is technically over, spiders are an all year round thing, right? My name is Esma and welcome to my channel Caked. If you're new here, we bake and decorate cakes just like this one. So please subscribe to this channel. And today we are going to be making a cute little spider cake with eight little legs and it's super tiny and really easy to do. So if you're looking for a project to do during quarantine, this is a great one to do with your kids. And it's pretty small so that only me and my family can eat it. But feel free to make a bigger version of this if you so choose. Let's get started. So because we're still on quarantine and there's only a few of us that are going to be eating this cake, I made a really small cake in a five inch round pan because I had this pan. They usually come in six inches. If you wanted to do that, you can do that as well. Or you can just use a regular cake and carve it. This one is super easy so I didn't have to waste any cake and it's the perfect size just for us. So I carved off the top of the cake just so that it would lay flat on the floor. Normally to make black buttercream you would use chocolate buttercream and then add your black dye. Unfortunately I didn't have any chocolate on hand so I just kept adding black dye to my buttercream and it just made everything black. So you know, the more black dye you add, the more your teeth are going to turn black and the more your hands are going to turn black. So try to use chocolate if you can but I did what I had to do and I still got it close enough to black as I possibly could. Give that little cake a crumb coat and put it in the fridge to cool. Then I made the legs out of black candy melts. Just melt them and put them in a piping bag and start piping away. I didn't actually use a stencil for this. I just made it up. And little did I realize when I was making this cake that I had to make his legs on two different sides. So of course I didn't do that. So half of them I just had to flip. And so half of them are soft on one side because they were touching the floor and half of them are not soft because they were facing upright but I didn't have enough candy melts to do this again. This is quarantine, guys. You gotta do with what you got on hand. I didn't have any to make more, so it is what it is. Whatever, sorry. And you can totally see that half of the legs are smooth on the outside and half of them are not. What you gonna do? Then I made the head out of black fondant and used two candy eyes that I already had and just made a mouth and two little fangs. I didn't really know what to do with the face, but I thought it turned out pretty cute. Then you want to use your piping bag and fit it with a star attachment of some sort. You can use any attachment for this. It really doesn't matter. You could use the 1M tip or any sort of flower star tip for this. As long as it looks a little bit hairy, you're good. You can even use a little grass tip for this, whatever you want. I made one bag with a bigger tip and one bag with a smaller tip to fill in the gaps. Then I just started piping away all over it to make it look a little bit like hair and a little bit cute. You could probably add a whole bunch of more things to this. I tried to keep it simple, but I'm sure you could add hair to the legs or antennas or tails or I don't know, do spiders have any of those things? I didn't do my research. Looks like a spider, good enough for me. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I thought you turned out pretty cute and scary at the same time. If you like this cake, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching guys. I'll see you next week. Bye.